Early release and scooping is the scourge of golf. And it's really caused by your arms and body not working together in sync. So then the arms start racing ahead of the body and you end up scooping and flipping the golf club. I'm gonna show you a really easy to do up, down, and fantastic practice drill sequence you can do that will help train your arms and body to work together better, help improve that release, help improve your ball striking. You can do it at home just doing practice swings or you can do it on the range and combine it with hitting balls. Let's get started. the golf club to train the arms and body to work together. I'm just going to set up in my golf stance, let my arms hang out, put my trail hand underneath my lead side here, and that kind of locks the arms to the body and hands to work with the body rotation, and then I'm just going to rotate to the top of my backswing. So you can see I'll get this great pivot now, my arms are going to move because my body turns up to the top here. And now to bring the club down or my arms down, I've got to move from trail side to lead side. Arms and body have to unwind together. Look at this impact position, extended lead, lead arm, great position here. And then to get the arms around, I have to rotate through into a good finish position. So my arms and body have to sync up and work together. So it's a fantastic practice drill. It helps your mobility too as well. You'll really feel that turn and pivot as you go. So set, up, down, and through. And now I'm going to add the golf club. So I've got a seven iron here. I'm just going to do some little swings here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get set up here, put my top hand on the club, take the tra trail hand underneath like that. Just get set there, go back, and then go through. You probably want to start with some short swings first and then gradually work to increasing the length. And it'll feel awkward at first, but it's a great practice sequence. There, and then through. Gets the arms and body working together. And then once I do a few of those, I'm gonna add the golf ball. I'm just gonna hit some little shots. So if you're outside, you probably wanna put it on a range mat or tee it up just to make it a little bit easier to, so you can focus on the motion rather than worrying about hitting the golf ball. If you're at home and you don't have a place to hit balls, use the trusty foam balls as well. It's just as effective to practice with foam balls as real balls. You're helping change the swing motion. That's the important thing. So again, get set. I'm just going to do a little swing back and through. Get set, and then I'm just going to do a little swing back and through. Real effective exercise, but it is hard, but it's really good for getting rid of that early release. And you can really feel how the arms and body work together through the ball. Just like that. And then from there, you can progress to swings with the trail hand open on the club. Back, and through. Again, just do little swings to start with. Gradually working to increase the length of the swing. both hands on the club and make your swing. You'll feel that great contact and fantastic rotation through the ball because your arms and body are sinking up. So it's a great way to improve your swing sequence and contact and you'll be a lot more consistent. 